Welcome back to Let's Watch Some Down Wall. I'm Vinny. Yeah, I'm Molly. What are we doing today? Oh my god. We are talking about such a good, and it's not, is it an anime or is it? It is an animation. An animation. Called, it is uh, Dong Wa, which is uh, Chinese animation. Yeah. So anime, Dong Wa, animation. Either way. We're watching it. We're watching it. And it is so good. What is it? Oh, it's we're talking about Link Click. Link Click. Uh, yeah, the uh, relatively new Chinese anime, Link Click, or I'm gonna get this, Shi Guang Dai Li Ren, which is a, a time agent. Oh, yeah. okay, mm -hmm, that's mm -hmm. cool. Uh, yeah, it uh, it just blew our minds uh, right out of the gate. Eleven out of ten. Go watch it right now. Um, t top five in my anime. Like I know Attack on Titan came out and Demon Slayer came out, mm -hmm. but this might be one of the best anime from 2021. Yeah. I'm I'm, I, I'm here for it. It is so good. Yeah, uh, season one just came out in 2021. Season two announced for a 2022 release, uh, and I can't wait. We have a lot to talk about, so, so let's much. jump into it. Let's yeah. let's dive into it. Yeah, let's try <laughs> so it again. Bad. Uh, first thoughts, uh, I'm just gonna say the show is everything I hope ad and admire to be. Uh, they're cool, it's fashionable, uh, they're <laughs> coordinated because they can do the little dance, and uh, I want to be able to time travel. Um, it's so cool, I could cry. It's so cool. <laughs> I did cry, it was so good. I cried multiple times. I laughed, I cried. Uh, my first thoughts are, it's like a mix between Steins Gate mm. and Benedict Cumberbatch's uh, Sherlock Holmes. Oh, I could see that. Right, yeah, yeah, like yeah. in yeah. Moriarty, you have the one big baddie, right. in Moriarty, yeah. and like he's, they're playing mind games with each other. Um, I would say it's better than Steins Gate. Yes. So yes. I would say this is my favorite time travel anime. Yes. yes. Yeah. Yeah. It was fucking amazing. Yeah. And we, so we have a th big theories video on Link Click coming up. Uh, yeah. So stay tuned for that. Before we jump into the rest of the shenanigans, uh, consider subscribing to the channel uh, and leave a like on this video. Let's do it. Let's jump in. Uh, real quick, uh, Link Click takes us to a small Photoshop run by Zhao Ling, Chen Zhaoxin, and Lu Guang. Although the facade is simply developing film, their true task is using their ability to travel through time through photographs to help clients. Lu Guang can see through photos and is somewhat omnipotent around the photo, and Chen Zhaoxin can physically inhabit the body of the photographer during the 12 hour period around the photos being taken. Mm -hmm. Mind what blown. a cool concept. What a cool concept. First of all, wow, I had no idea what it was about. Obviously, yeah. we go into these shows not knowing anything, and you caught you could catch on right away. Yeah. Um, so let's talk about the time let's travel. Let's talk about time travel. Okay, very cool concept. Time traveling via a photograph. Cheng Zhaoxi goes into the past by becoming the person who took the photo that they dive into. Right. Uh, and Lu Guang guides him in order to not change the past, which would result in a change of the future. Right. And Zhao Xi can change small things as long as it doesn't change um, the node, right. right? They talk about this node, and the nodes are big moments in space that should not change, or else that changes the future. Right. And kind of like Stein's Gate, where they have those timelines that are like bound by similar degrees, mm -hmm. but it all converges on one big point that right. cannot be changed. Right. Like something that really can't be changed. Like the earthquake yeah. is a node that can't yeah. be changed. Yeah. So, a little bit different take on it, but I have, I have some questions about some of this time, time travel that I wanted to throw out there. So talking about some of Zhao Xi's changes that mm -hmm. he made, like supposedly the changes he made can't actually change the future unless he changes the node, right? right? But Zhao Xi does seem to make significant changes, for instance, with the kidnapped boy. Right. He goes back as the kidnapped boy, and then he freaks out the, the human trafficker, mm -hmm. and that seems to have a huge impact on the future, right? Uh, the future that hasn't happened yet. Exactly. Yeah. Um, but also the future that has happened, because if he hadn't traveled back in time, would the boy have gotten trafficked off? Ooh, yeah, and right. then she would have continued to traffic people, so other people would not have gotten trafficked. Yeah. yeah. So, is he actually changing the future in this, which seems like a huge way? Right. Or is him going back in time already predetermined? Because it was meant to happen that way anyway. So, is it a time loop? 
For instance, with the kidnapping, right. is there a reality where the kid got trafficked away because Zhao Xi technically didn't travel back until three years after it already happened? Right. Or is him traveling back the only reality that actually exists? Right. It makes me think it's a time loop because he was the one that ultimately distracts Zhao Ling from actually saving the boy. Before they even realized they were going to go back in time to do it. Yeah. yeah. Everything that's happened <sighs> and that has not yet happened has already happened. Right. Yeah. But. One thing that would discredit this time loop is when Zhao Xi, as Zhu Shanshan, runs off to chase after the creep. As a result of him running off at, after the creep, her photo is in the paper, right. and then she gets targeted by the killer. Right. So, before he traveled back, we don't know that she still ran after the creep and right. that her photo was in the paper. Because she was blackout. So we mm -hmm. don't know if she originally ran after the creeper to yeah. begin with. So she could have technically done that. But then, was she in the paper before she even goes to get the help from the gang? It's like, I don't know. And if she wasn't, then that discredits the time loop right, theory. Right. Because, yeah, it's just, it's so good. Yeah. And there's so many questions. The concept is so awesome. Because it's not just like, oh, I see a blue butterfly and now I can go back to my old self. <laughs> or like, uh, I can send text messages to myself from six days ago. Like, yeah. it's such a clever concept. Yeah, and like... Lu and we're just at the tip of the iceberg. <laughs> Lu Guang's whole thing is like, don't change anything, don't change anything, don't change the past. You don't want to know what about the future, don't mm -hmm. change the past. But are they actually able to do that? Like yeah. that was his whole thing, but who knows who if knows? that's actually even a possibility. I have a feeling Lu Guang knows. My last note about time travel. Mm -hmm. At first, when Zhao Xi sends the text as Emma to her parents, right. we're shown that that kind of leads to her death. Mm -hmm. I wrote down, holy crap, consequences from just sending one text, yeah. right? Yeah. Like, yeah. scary. What little things have such big ripple effects? But I would argue that Xiao Xi's text message didn't actually cause her death. So, Liu Min was always going to attack her because she stole his money. Right. This like, just you can gave see, him like, this opportunity. Yeah, like, it. she gets that credit card from the boss. Right which means that she was taking his money. Mm -hmm. So he was always going to do it. So right. I don't think that text message actually led to that. It just uh, sped up the yeah. animal. Yeah, so many, <laughs> so many questions. Uh, I have a quick note on the time travel stuff and just seeing all of the things that uh, Chen Zhaoxi had to like live through mm -hmm. and like just how emotionally distraught he would have to be after all of this. Yeah. But then I was like, we find out in later episodes just how like crazy his childhood was. Like, oh, maybe he is like a little desensitized to, to stuff. Like it still like affects him deep down, but like he's tougher because of his crazy childhood. Yeah, I guess, you know? but oh my God, when they were talking about his childhood, I was like, yeah. I was crying. It was like the Naruto swing <laughs> yeah. all over. Oh my God, yeah. so emotional. <laughs> Moving on to talking about some of the um, some of the jobs that they took on, I must say that each of these jobs was like a whole mini anime mm -hmm. in a couple episodes. Oh my god, yes! <laughs> like it was so well built out. And here are some just some notes on these smaller arcs, mm -hmm. right? So I know at the ramen shop, um, just a f***ing beautiful story. Such a beautiful story, <laughs> and then like. You think that it's all going on path A, oh, yeah. but then right at the last minute, it splits off and just like, oh, this is wholesome. It's so wholesome. <laughs> the basketball slash earthquake yeah. Um, yeah. job. Which was basically just haiku meets <laughs> Japan sinks. Oh like, God. <laughs> I was saying, I was like, holy crap, while watching the basketball game, this is an episode of Haiku. I was getting chills watching, <laughs> like, I don't watch, I'm not a sports person, and I, I don't really care or I'm interested in any sports whatsoever, but like, obviously I love Haiku. Uh, I would watch basketball anime so hard. It was so good, I got chills. <laughs> just, like, if we just, uh, they made an anime just based off of this one team, yeah. has to play their games yeah. in like an old warehouse, yeah. and like, wow. And I got chills finding out that actually everyone was about to die oh in God. this earthquake. Yeah. If I were Ching Zhaoxi, I would have left that situation as soon as I knew there was going to be. I'm, I'm like, Just, I'm, I'm out. out. I'm I out. Can't I can't deal help with anybody. This. Yeah, I, can't. I don't want to be here when everyone yeah. dies. Yeah. So. 
and and oh. like I appreciated what Lu Guang said. You don't know what your actions are going to do if they're it's actually going to kill innocent people and save bad people. Right. So like you don't know what's going to happen because of this. So just like chill. Do he, what you're supposed to do. Because he could have killed the guy that he jumped back as. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Like, it's very well that like, he could have just killed off that guy by right. saving the mom. I don't know. Yeah. It, oh. I And I cried. Yeah. I want, I just, when the mom sacrificed. Oh, uh, yeah. We don't need to talk about Oh, uh, God. <laughs> what is this anime? I just, it's amazing. Yeah. Episode 5.5. Mm hmm. Oh, <laughs> oh again, God. like the writing is so good because it takes you on point A where you think like, oh, this guy's just trying to get a girl. But then it takes like a hard turn and he's like, oh, sh he's like 70 he's years old. old. He's so old and he's still trying to marry this oh. woman. I'm oh, tearing up God. just thinking about it. <sighs> I will say like, I, I think we were coming up to the last couple of episodes and you were like, it's taking a different turn. It's getting very serious very quickly. And I was just like, no, it's like been like super happy and like upbeat this entire time. You're like, no, it hasn't. I and I'm thinking back on it, like it has had such high highs, such incredible highs, but also like painful lows that it, the, it balances itself out so impossibly well. And then the missing kid episode, yeah. which I was just like, oh, they're gonna do a missing kid. This is gonna turn out so bad. Yeah. I was, but thank God it had a happy ending. I don't. And it also really helped explain the time loop stuff because yeah. you don't see what transpires, but it always turns out to be like they had gone back several times. Having Chen Xiaoxin's come back, it was like, oh, if I don't come back as somebody that takes a photograph, but I come back from a video surveillance camera, do I come back as a camera? <laughs> yeah. I was losing it. Yeah, yeah. That's funny. But then watching him watch himself was kind of trippy. Yeah, yeah, as the kid, he sees himself. My last note on some of the smaller arcs was, would you hide it from me that I killed someone? Oh, yeah. I mean, we went over this in uh, The Girl Who Left Her Time. Chiyaki was like, yo, oh. you basically blamed yourself for so-and-so's death. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to keep that from you. I yeah, mean, you would. Yeah. You wouldn't tell me. No. Because that's what Lu Guang was doing. Rightfully so, yeah. I'd say. Yeah. yeah. And can we say their relationship, whatever it is, is so beautiful. <laughs> they are... They need each other. They balance each other. One can see everything yeah. and one can be there to like help do all this stuff. I don't know, man. It's so beautiful, so cool. Anyway, moving okay. on. <laughs> let's, uh, now let's talk about the, um, the big things. The, the ending and the main kind of narrative yeah. arc that's throughout this whole anime. Which we didn't know was there. It just started <laughs> in episode one and then led all the way through the end. I thought it was just like a series of like cool vignettes and they go on missions and adventures and stuff. I mean, they were planting the seed. You could see like all these yeah. deaths happening Everything is throughout. intertwined. Like you yeah. need to watch every episode. This isn't like a skip an episode. No, and, like... no anime is a skip an episode type of thing. So the ending, they set up a trap to catch Liu Min. Mm -hmm by using Zhu Shan Chen to communicate with the killer that they want to play a game with him to basically see if they can outsmart each other. Mm -hmm. And in the end, they catch Wu Min, right. which is epic. And then that was the end. <laughs> it was, and everything worked out for them. Uh -huh. That was the end. The end. So it was no need for a season no two, No need right? for season two. That's yeah. it. That's what happened. So uh, Lu Guang kind of brings up that when Cheng Xiaoxi talks to the killer through Zhu Shan Shan, mm -hmm. that he's created an alternate timeline, right. right? He says that, but then it's like, is it an alternate timeline or is that actually the, it's time the timeline? Line right, yeah. like it, it's, it's a loop. They like, because basically the killer kidnaps Zhu Shan Shan and that leads to them going back into the past, right. but then the past also leads to the killer kidnapping and then going to the Photoshop mm -hmm. and then, mm -hmm. anyway, so it, that was, that blew my mind. We read the episode name, The Trap. <laughs> and we were like, yes, they're gonna get the guy. <laughs> <laughs> At first I thought it was a bad thing. I was like, oh God, yeah. what are they gonna get trapped in? Yeah. But no, I was like, wow. It was like, like joking the last episode is, well, everybody dies. <laughs> 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 episode 11, hope you didn't get attached. <laughs>
Episode 11, everything goes wrong. Okay, of course everything goes wrong in the end. I'm still like shook from- But okay. out of left field. Hold on, okay. Let's... There's evil Lu No, I know. Let's... <laughs> let's go through this step by step here, okay? Um, so when they were having the whole photo shot, mm -hmm. like scene, dark room scene, I was like, okay, this is cool, but there's still like so many questions that need to be answered. Yeah. So I was a little worried, I was hesitant. For instance, how is you mean moving around when he was supposed to be crippled? Right. And how does he have an alibi when we saw him ki literally kidnap and kill Emma? Right. And so the time loop also makes sense here because the only reason he actually Liu Min got into his car accident mm -hmm. is because Emma lived and the only reason Emma lived was because Cheng Xiaoxi screamed in the trunk right but Cheng Xiaoxi didn't scream in the trunk until he went back into the surveillance footage right. after Emma was spo already supposed to be dead right so there's and the time loop. the police officer even said like a lot of these are marked as suicides even though they look like mm. it was actually the serial totally. killer and Emma's was actually a suicide she actually jumps off that bridge. Right. But then we only really find out that- Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, <laughs> don't jump ahead. Um, so I answered my own question of like, oh, he's supposed to be like in a horrible accident. Right. He was supposed to have alibi. I answered this with, you mean has a split personality and mm -hmm. his medical records are forged. I was like, great. That's what I thought. So he was like, well, they're, oh. they're rich. You can right. just pay off a doctor. Exactly. But then of course we get to the whole Emma Bridge thing, mm -hmm. right? Um, she ends up on the bridge after the accident and she's about to commit suicide, mm -hmm. um, which was very emotional. Yes. Um, here's what I have written down. I have a whole thing written mm -hmm. down about this, mm -hmm. okay. When Sheng Xiaoxi was making his speech to try to convince her not to jump, I was bawling. It was a beautiful, beautiful speech about how you can't change the past, but you can still change the future mm -hmm. and make it like, oh my God, beautiful words were coming out of his mouth and you think everything is going to be okay and that he's going to save Emma, mm -hmm. but then it takes the darkest, darkest turn that I've ever witnessed yeah. in my entire life. Some unknown guy was just like, absolutely not. <laughs> yeah, it was literally the last 60 seconds yeah of the last episode when everything goes wrong. Basically, the main antagonist slash killer of the show, Red Eyes, is what people have been calling him, or her, who knows, uh, possesses Emma and Zhao Ling simultaneously, makes Emma jump off the bridge and makes Zhao Ling stab Lu Guang. Mm -hmm. um, when Zhao Ling picks up the knife, you hear Lu Guang like being shocked that Cheng Zhaoxi is like able to save Emma. Right. He's like, this shouldn't be happening. Right. I knew things were gonna get f Yeah. I was like, yeah. oh, this is f Also, we thought that this was the second to last episode. We didn't realize that this was actually the last episode. Uh, I was like, <laughs> mini next episode now. And then it pops up with chibi adventures. <laughs> Yeah. That, that whole scene, yeah. like that needs, that scene needs to win an award or yeah. something. It was also like sickening, like <laughs> knowing that he was so close, but then this was going to happen anyway. Yeah. yeah. Also, we need to talk about the music real quick oh. because the music in not only the OP, which is fantastic, the ending, so cool when they have the busy signal going, like when things are things are getting to the end of the episode and like something's not right yeah. and then the music starts coming on and then the yeah. 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 Oh, oh, oh my god it's, it's... but also the music throughout the episodes i think this has to be like i i love suana music from attack on titan and 86 mm -hmm. but this all of the music plays so well into every episode yeah everything about this the animation everything. the voice acting the music the story the story, the writing, everything. 11 out of 10. If you haven't already, go watch Link Click. This is my last note. Just psychological trauma, but wow, this is so good. Yeah. Nothing was as it seemed. Uh, I need season two, and like I said, it might be the best anime that came out in 2021. Yeah. Just beautiful. Just beautiful. Go watch Link Click. Uh, stay tuned. We've got a theories video Link yeah. Click coming up. Uh, yeah, until then, uh, for Let's Watch Some Enemy, I've been Vinny. I'm Molly. We'll see you in the next one. Oh. <laughs> oh. Ooh, that was good. That was good. <laughs>